Coalition's Queensland campaign spokesman to uh, require Roy, the candidate for Longman, to announce um, a funding commitment on behalf of the Coalition if, uh, the, um, Abbott, if uh, Tony Abbott is elected uh, on the 21st of August. An Abbott government will commit $12 million to black spot upgrades on the, the Aguila Highway. There are six particular locations on the Diagula Highway which have been identified, including this one here on the intersection of Gamgee Road, um, which um, um, are considered dangerous and in need of upgrade, and a coalition government will commit the money uh, to, uh, to doing that. Uh, I should say that uh, the reason that we are making this announcement here today um, to upgrade the Diagula Highway uh, is directly as a result of the advocacy on behalf of the local community of Wyatt Roy, um, our candidate who has been very, very forceful as an advocate for uh, this region and this particular funding commitment. Um, now, I've circulated a, uh, a press release which contains a, a number of other uh, attributed comments which I simply sort of incorporate by reference. Perhaps Wyatt might like to say something as well. Yeah, I think this is something that the community have fought for for a long time, and I think uh, State Labor particularly have let us down. The point that I want to make today is that this is the first step in a process. The black spot funding is essential, but we really are calling on the State Government to step up to the plate and give more funding to passing lanes along the highway. I suppose, is this a response to any of the traffic jams or that we saw as part of the events held at Woodford? I, I think that puts an emphasis on it, but it's not a direct response to it. We've had significant problems on this highway for a long time, and uh, this commitment will go a long way to addressing those problems, but not all the way. We accept that. Uh, if I am elected, I will keep lobbying for more funding, particularly for passing lanes, and I think this is a state road, and the state Labor government should be putting that money towards it. And I, I also make the point, just remember that my opponent was a state Labor MP for three terms. How much are you actually asking for from the state government? Have you got a figure in mind? We haven't got a figure. I mean, I'm not an engineer and we'll leave that to them, but there needs to be a significant commitment to passing lanes along the highway. Yeah. yeah are the passing lanes, it's sort of, is that what you're asking for on all of the six black spots? Or? Well, no, we are asking for passing lanes along the highway, but our commitment today is for six sites, $12 million, $2 million each. That's the maximum funding we can get under black spot, uh, and that's the commitment that we've made today. Uh, how far along the, the highway are the, the six black, black spots? That's all the way from the to the point. I suppose, was this a, an effort from yourself, Mike, to, to, to get this funding for the day? Absolutely. Island? You have to lobby and advocate within your own party room. That's what I've done. Uh, I think this is an important issue locally, and it's something that the Labor Party have really let us down on. So I've made a stand, and I'm very grateful of the commitment from the leadership team today for that funding. Can I add to that answer? Um, there is a process within the, um, the coalition in which bids for local funding are assessed and compared with each other. Um, and that process is a nationwide process. Because this is a time at which the country is in record debt as a result of the policies and the carelessness with money of the Rudd and Gillard governments, um, the principal objective, of course, of a coalition government will be to repay the debt and get the budget back in service. For that reason, um, we make these commitments to additional local funding measures very sparingly because there simply isn't, the Labor Party has simply left very little money. So far, the funding commitments announced by the Coalition um, uh, in this campaign um, uh, are exceeded by saving commitments to the tune of about $2.8 billion as of today, and there will be more announcements, both funding commitments and saving commitments, made in the next several days. But I want to emphasise the point that this money is hard to come by and it's because of the very high priority that the Coalition um, gives to this area, of this, this part of Australia, and also because of the quality of the case put up to, through, to our process by Wyatt Roy, that this particular funding has been approved and in, in very strange times. And any sort of time frame, Wyatt, for the, um, for the upgrades to be done? Uh, not at the moment, but it will immediately put the funding towards there uh, yeah. if we win the next election. And it, is this the, the worst one or the, the oh, worst no, one? No, I mean, it depends on which family you speak to about which is the worst. Yeah. But the, the six sites are identified as significant problems. And, and within those six sites, there are several upgrades that have been taken part. Things like guardrails, 
Uh, things like drainage problems on a day like today, aquaplaning is a huge problem on this road and that will go a long way to addressing that. Removing vegetation to approve uh, sight lines, mm -hmm. uh, those are the sorts of measures that are in this uh, black spot funding. Um, you, significant measures in six sites. Yeah, you say that um, you know money is a problem at the moment in government, and you expect that it's going to be something you need to take, to take care of when you get in. Um, the, both the coalition and Labor have just uh, pledged to over seven hundred million dollars to the rail to Redcliffe, um, and you've got this here, which I uh, suspect you're expecting to save lives as a result. Um, do you think twelve million dollars is enough? I think twelve million dollars is a significant start. The yeah. Labor Party haven't done that; they've let us down here. <clears throat> this is a state road, and we are calling for the state government to put more funding towards this. This is a start. Yeah. I think this is a significant contribution to the real problems that are out there. And if elected as a federal member, uh, I will work very hard to keep lobbying for improvement on this road. So is a rail to Redcliffe a higher priority? Well, it's not a question of whether one thing is a higher priority than another. I mean, there are, there are needs, in particular infrastructure needs um, and road upgrade needs, which are part of that across the country. Now, the Coalition has identified um, the, the Aguilar Highway and the six black spots that, that in particular White Roy has pointed to as being sufficiently important to be properly funded, to be developed. Um, the, the other point I should make to you is to remind you of the black spot program is itself an issue of the coalition of the program initiated during the time of the power Do you know where the last death happened on this road? Uh, I don't know off the top of my head. Okay. How, how were the six spots identified as sort of the ones that needed the, the most attention? There was a, a, a committee set up uh, by the state member for Glasshouse, the federal member for Fisher, and the incumbent member who went about addressing that. So what happened was the uh, that, that submission went to the Black Spot Funding uh, Committee, and that has been pushed backwards uh, to make any decision. So today we are making that commitment. Mm. See, what, this, what that demonstrates to you is that Wyatt Roy has more influence with the coalition in getting his proposals approved than the sitting Labor member for Longman has within the government. Okay? Thanks for that. Thank you.